came out to Long Island, went for a drive, Huntington, New York, and we're at a new place. They've been here less than a year. It's 1653 Pizza Company. And we're here, we got a couple of pizzas. We ordered a couple of other dishes. And our first dish just arrived and it's right here, and it's this delicious looking oven charred Mediterranean octopus, which has a spice glaze, tea puree, crispy guanciale, which is like a, uh, like a bacon, as well as some fried potatoes and aioli. And that looks pretty darn good, and we're gonna try that. There's dinner. Hello, dinner. You're going in with your octopus? Hi, yes. So this is my first bite. That's the that. octopus. That Look at this piece of bacon right here. Look at that. Guanciale. Do you see that? Look how Fancy Italian that bacon, looks. essentially. And the potatoes. Okay, we're gonna try it. Now well, let's see Danette's reaction here. Wow. How's that octopus? Oh, that Good. flavor, Anthony. Wait till you taste it. Let me try this. I'm liking your reaction. All right, my turn. That's really tasty octopus. I'm cooked, it's nice and soft. Oh, I like that. Wait, I wanna get a bite of that, a piece of that with the, with the potato. That's good stuff. I had to do one more bite over here. Octopus, potato, guanciale, crispy. Mm -hmm. mm. Hello, so now we're back and I'm gonna tell you what we just got. And because I'm uh, old and my memory is bad, I'm gonna read it directly from the menu. We've ordered the tortelli, which is a stuffed pasta with burrata, black truffle, tartufata, parmigiana, and cream. And it's right here. How does that look? Oh my God. How does that look, Danette? That looks effing Look at these packages of deliciousness. I'm hoping they're delicious, and I have a feeling they are. Well, why don't you just try it right I'm now? Just, I'm just, just going. Just cut right to the middle, because I want to see the middle of the pasta. Janet wants to see this opened up. Show me the middle before you eat it. Oh. Show us all. There you go. Oh, Not stay that. still. Let me see. Oh, my God. Look at that. Amazing. That looks amazing. That is hot pasta, too. All right, too. go for it. All right. What are you tasting? What's the first thing you're tasting? I taste that burrata mm -hmm. and that little hint of the truffle and the cheese and the cream. This is really good. I think you're going to love it. I think Danette is going to love it. Yeah, look at that. You ready to taste that, Danette? I'm so ready. Look at it. Wow. All right, I'm suspecting this is what I'm tasting. That's really, really good. This sauce. That sauce, that cream and parmesan mm. sauce. Mm. 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 Oh my God. You have to come here and order this. If you don't order nothing else, we didn't get to the pizza yet. You have to order this. Look at that. Mm. Look at it, and it's like it's almost like a dumpling. It looks like it looks like a package. No, what it is, it's not. It's a tortelli, which I guess is like just like a really large tortellini. But it's the shaving of this cheese on top of this cream. Yeah, there's so much nice Parmesan cheese. How's about that? Look at that close-up look at that tortelli. That thing is delicious. With a little aid from Danette giving me some 
Parmesan sprinkled on top. It's so good. Okay, so the pizza has just arrived. And right here we have the mortadella pie. And the mortadella pie has mozzarella cheese, a pesto made with pistachios, as well as mortadella stracciatella cheese and pistachio dust. Oh my God, does that look good? And over here, our other pie that we got is called the Bronx Bacon. And the Bronx bacon is made with vodka sauce, bomba chili paste, and house-made bacon jam with basil on it. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. And I'm gonna try this Bronx bacon first. One more time, how about this Bronx bacon? This is looking Man, that extra added Parmesan cheese that I just sprinkled on there. Really kicked that up a notch. That is a perfect bite. That is so bacony, so spicy, so vodka y. This is delicious, actually. Holy smoke. Mmm. Danette is starting herself out with the mortadella pie. Look at She's this. She's investing in that. Mmm. Wow. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, wow, man. that stracciatella on the top is something else. And the pistachio? All right. Get the undercarriage on that, uh, on that crust. It's a soft crust, right? Like a, more of a soft crust, not crispy. Mm -hmm. But you can taste the cold, the cold that, that it comes from that cold fried on. It's very Italian. Are you getting the mortadella? Flavor? Getting the mortadella, it's salty and creamy. Look at that. Yeah, how about that? Now it's my turn to try. My turn to try some of this uh, mortadella pie. Let me get a bite. Mm. Mm. I really like that. And maybe it just goes to show how much I like mortadella and pistachios. But I'm really liking this. There it that? is. It's glistening. It is. It's glistening. Take a bite of that Bronx. Mmm, that's delicious. My wife's from the Bronx. She took a bite of the Bronx. Does it mm. seem too spicy to that? No, it's very good. Oh, look at that crust. So Nick here is making us a frozen limoncello here at the bar. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. So we finished our dinner here at 1653 Pizza Company. We uh, we like the pizza, the coal-fired pizza. It's a classic coal-fired pizza. Don't expect it to be like a New York slice place. It's not like a get like a crispy, crispy crust, but it is your usual classic coal-fired pizza crust. But it has super fresh ingredients. These are artisan pizzas. I think the star of the show, as far as the two pizzas go, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, because I love mortadella, but I think the star of the show was the Bronx bacon. That bacon jam and that hot chili paste just married together so amazing. And the pasta was delicious. Get the pasta, you have to get a pasta here, because if that's, that pasta is an indication, that means the other pastas are delicious. Delicious. And I think that we should say that we uh, should definitely come back here. I'm laughing because I said some things wrong and it may make it to the bleeper, blooper, it may not. I don't know. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to Nick and the bar bartender and Gigi, the staff. They are very nice here, took care of us, and we would definitely come back. As a matter of fact, I already know what I want to order when we do come back. What do you think? 
Yeah, I think I have a, a couple of ideas myself. I'm definitely gonna try pasta, maybe in a different entree. Whatever you do, if you come for the first time, do not pass up that pasta we had. That was delicious. It was really good. Bye, till next time. Definitely we'll have to back come here. back. And the clientele here is amazing. Nick, the bartender, and Gigi, the server, definitely come here just for the atmosphere, the workers. Staff, you mean, not clientele. And we're here at a place that's pretty much brand new. They've been here less than a year. It's called 60. 